Some businesses on the West Coast are struggling to stay open now as workers report crime on the rise. A Starbucks spokesperson announced yesterday the coffee chain is permanently closing 14 stores, six in Seattle, six around L.A., two more in Portland, Oregon. The Wall Street Journal reports the moves come after employees complained about safety concerns and rampant drug use among customers and people out on the street. Meantime, multiple 7-Eleven locations closed last night in Southern California after a series of shootings and violent robberies at the stores. Police say the incidents left two people dead and three others wounded. Here's CNBC's Valerie Castro. I come up here to the 7-Eleven. We buy our lot of tickets or, if, you know, um, my boy needs a Slurpee. We come up. Um, it's shocking. Yellow crime scene tapes sprang up around six different locations in the Los Angeles area Monday after police say an early morning crime spree targeted customers and store clerks. This does appear to be a robbery. That turned into a homicide. Several others were injured, including a customer who was shot in the head. Police later released this image of at least one suspect they believe is connected to some of the crimes. The violence prompting the company to urge franchisees to shut their doors overnight. The convenience stores, not the only recent targets of crime. Woman, the, woman, the, the L.A. area's thousands of street vendors are also seeing a rise in violence, targeted by criminals looking for a quick buck. Elio Ramirez has been victimized twice, he says, harassed by a group that toppled his cart. Inclusive Action, an L.A. nonprofit that advocates for low-income micro-entrepreneurs, says many are still struggling post-pandemic, and street vendors are an especially vulnerable population. A lot of street vendors are really very, very poor. Um, uh, a lot of the, the clients that we serve are making $15,000 a year. If they miss one day of work, um, they may not be able to pay their rent that month. Uh, certainly when um, they, they may, if they experience a random act of violence from somebody, that really harms them and harms their ability to take care of their family. Citywide, the LAPD says robberies are up more than 20 percent over the last year. And police say they are still working to figure out if all of the 7-Eleven incidents are related or what connection there could have been to the date, given that yesterday was 7-Eleven. Today, the company says it is again urging stores to close during those overnight hours. Shep. Valerie Castro, thanks very much.